Hello and welcome to the tutorial for setting up your AI with VTS Pog. If you're watching this, you should already have your OpenAI API key inside of VTS Pog. By clicking on connections, you'll see your OpenAI API key, enable AI mode, then here's some information that we have about just ChatGPT being an open language model. We don't have control over what it generates. Typically AI is pretty regularly normal, but you never know. It depends on what you input, so use at your own risk. Here we have some options for being able to use emotion when the AI is speaking. You can turn this on or off, and then you can also include user message on answer. So if your AI will repeat the message before answering. The log context is what your AI will memorize. The more messages you select, the more the AI will be able to remember and have a more coherent conversation. While the conversation is less coherent, it also costs a little bit less because it's not processing as many messages when coming up with a reply. Here, we'll open up the OpenAI personality config. This is where you can really control your pet and make it your own. You can send a message to your pet, but first, let's go ahead and design our pet ourselves. You can see the mood of your pet as it's speaking. You can also use a pet preset to test this out before going further. We have friendly, rude, philosopher, gamer, and cat. If you pick one of these, like friendly, you'll be able to see the preset description and then you can click load preset. However, we're gonna make our own for now, so I'm gonna hit cancel. Under the pet config, you're going to see a bunch of different options to fill in details about your pet. There are some examples here, so let's go ahead and fill one out. If you don't know me, my name's Noctopus and I'm a VTuber, and I sit on top of this girl's head and her name is Kana. So my name is going to be Noctopus, and our pet's name will be Kana. You can really type whatever you want here. So I'm going to type anime girl with Octopus features. Now, what do you think of your pet would be something like a sassy, but intelligent anime girl who loves to banter with chat. You can describe your pet and give it the backstory, appearance, lore. There's a lot of things you can put here. This is really the meat of your pet's backstory. So ours can be something like got bit by radioactive octopus and turned into an octopus girl. Now she sails the seas with her pet octopus on top of her head. And the last box is what does your pet think of you? She thinks I am her pet octopus that lives on her head. She also might think I'm annoying. Again, you can really put whatever you want here and go into a lot of detail. So let's go ahead and scroll back up to the top and say hello to our new pet. Hello, Kana. Nice to meet you. Hello, Noctopus. It is a pleasure to meet you as well. Tell me, what do you enjoy most about streaming and connecting with others and mine? I forgot that it had the narrator voice on. Which brings me to another point, if you would like, you're using TTS Monster, you can go over here and set your default voice, which is a new update, and put it whatever you want. Typically I use Joanna though. There's another button here called Reset Pet Memory. This is kind of like killing your pet, so be a little careful if you press this. This means that it'll delete all of the memories it has of your chat and pretty much wiping it clean. But for the most part, if you're not having too much trouble, you can click Save Pet and close this. There are a few more options you can do here. So click on the chat tab, and now we have the chat auto read feature. This means that your AI will be able to read the chat and respond to the messages that it picks. There is also an option to turn on reading all messages, so it just depends on the experience that you would like. This means it will not skip any messages and reply to every single one. However, if you want a smaller TTS queue and it replies to a few of them, then go ahead and turn this off. We also have the delay function in order for you to be able to speak between when your pet answers questions. You can set this to five, 10, 30, whatever fits the best for your needs. There's also the ignore list. This means that it won't respond to things like stream elements and Nightbot talking in your chat. So just name whatever you want here. You can also put users here as well. If we scroll down a bit farther, you'll see chat GPT command, and you can set up a command such as ask to ask your pet a question. So if I go into my chat, and type exclamation point ask, how are you today? I am doing well, thank you for asking. How about yourself? How has your day been so far? You can also have the introduction command. 
which will introduce the chatter to your pet. Noctapus, is everything all right? Did you have a question or comment you wanted to share with me? You also have the cooldown function, which acts kind of like the function we talked about earlier, but it's between your commands. This is a global cooldown function and not per user. We also have a lot of filter options for who are allowed to use the commands. On the Twitch and YouTube sections, you can go ahead and set limits or cost to talking to the AI via super chats, membership, subscriptions, bits, etc. I hope you have a lot of fun making your own AI. Make sure to join the Discord in case you have any questions.